Okay, we're ready for the pressing um, aspect of this. We've got it all pleated, everything looks good. It's important now that you've got the folds in, all the pleats in, to press the valance. And uh, making sure you're, you're warm. You're just gonna run right over it, keeping the pins in. You really want to press these folds in good. So when it's hanging, it just doesn't wing right out. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over onto the other side. And while you have it, you see that these, each one of these are all even. And that's why you need four pins just to keep that all even at the top. And then and, uh, we're pressing it from the back side now. I'm pressing each one of these folds, press this in. Now the last thing you're gonna press are the returns. You're going to fold it back to right where the edge of the scallop is. Right there. That's the whole three and a half inch return. You're going to fold it back and you're going to put a nice heavy press right there. And then on the other side. And the reason why I'm doing it, let's see if you can see that. If you don't, this will just kind of wing out here. So you can see I've got a nice crease right there and, and uh, it's all the little fine touches that, that make a job, um, a, a, a professional job. So again, I'm gonna bring that back and see, I'm just bringing it right back to the, to the edge of the scallop. Okay, that part's done. While I'm here, I'll clean it off. That's gonna go back to the uh, sewing machine. And then I'm gonna run a stitch across it, right across the other stitch that's on here. So, and I only really need to do it right at the pleats. If you go across the whole thing, it's fine. Uh, but what you really wanna do is, is sew down all these pleats so they don't wing out like that. And then, we're going to go ahead and mount it. So I'll be right back.